What's up everybody? It is Audio Saturday. I am here at the Meadows in Washington, Pennsylvania. Of course, the featured race today, the Adios Pace for the Orchids. Everybody on track dressed in uh, orchid purple today for the Adios. It's a 16 race program. Should be a tremendous day. We have the Wager Warriors on site as well. They'll be walking around in bright orange shirts. They're giving out wagering advice as well as a couple of free vouchers. Should be a tremendous day, so stay with us here at the Meadows. It means everything because it's, it's, it's history, uh, founded by Delvin Miller, named after one of the greatest stallions in the sport, Adios. Uh, this is what harness racing in western Pennsylvania has been about for so many years. Uh, Delvin Miller and Adios in the Meadows. We have a table set up. We're raffling off an iPad and an iPad Mini from the Standard Bread Breeders Association. Um, we also play a couple games there, like Beat the Professor's Picks, where you could win a $50 betting voucher. And then we just help with any way we can. The crowd really starting to fill in here for Adios Saturday. We're only on race seven, and it's already standing room only. Of course, the Adios coming up in race Number 15, the Wager Warriors are here. Let's take a peek if we can. Can we? There we go. Wager Warriors on site today. They are here teaching people how to bet, handing out free vouchers. So if you see them in their bright orange shirts, be sure to ask them for some wagering advice. But of course, besides the Wager Warriors here today, we have Foiled Again. Foiled Again is going to lead the post parade for the Adios. Looking forward to seeing uh, harness racing royalty. So stick with us. We are about halfway through the day. Still more great action to come. When I grew up in racing, there was these kind of crowds every night at Sportsman's Park in Chicago. And when they came down the stretch, you really enjoyed listening to the crowd go nuts. And to hear that here, in a crowd like this, it really is uh, ingratiating. Oh, it's great just to just to be here for the day and uh, you know have a drive in the Adios is uh, it's really cool. So uh, you know, it's just uh, hopefully we can get a bit of it, but it's good to be here. Oh, we love to come out here and support the the race. You know, signature race for the track, and uh, you know we were fortunate enough to win it a couple of years ago with Racing Hill and. We were second with American History last year, so it's a race we really enjoy and we take a lot of horses to. So having the fact that I grew up here, I went to school in Washington, and I mean, my whole life's been here. We, we have a party up on the hill, it's our 35th year where our stable has a party. Um, Adios Day, it's a big day. It's always a goal to get a horse in the Adios, so I feel really lucky to be here this year. Coming up next, it's the 53rd running of the Adios Pace for the Orchids. This is the feature on today's program. It's why everybody's here, and the crowd has really filled in for the Adios this year. Foiled again, we'll be leading the uh, post parading here. I think the place will go absolutely wild if Prince of Tides gets the job done with local favorite Dave Pallone in the bike. He's my pick. He's who I'm pulling for. But let's see what happens in today's Pace for the Orchids. Southwind Ozzy on the outside. Prince of Tide second. Static Party third. Wild Wild Western three wide off the turn. Down the stretch they come. It's all Southwind Ozzy and Brian Sears. Coming home, the battle for second and third. Southwind Ozzy, look at the timer. One, 40. 